G'day everyone, this is Longshot with you again. I just decided to put this online as a change of pace from my normal videos which are pretty much all about War Thunder these days. This is a game I was into before I even started playing War Thunder. As you can see it's called Moonbreakers. It's a free to play title, developed by a small indie company and it's available on Steam. It was purely multiplayer. It's a kind of space dogfighting game. Um, if we have a look it's got all sorts of different types of ships with a diesel punky kind of feel to them, uh, each with their own weapons and strengths and weaknesses. Uh, there's mediums, heavies, bombers, each with their own role in the game. It was actually extremely well balanced as far as the gameplay was concerned. And there was a lot of scope for developing skill with each of these craft, which you had to unlock of course, they only gave you two to begin with. Let me just get back to the menu. But uh, it's actually a solitary uh, example of how not to develop a free to play game. They spent all their money outsourcing uh, to expensive um, companies to uh, develop all their graphics and 3D models, as well as to Bear McCreary for writing the music, which you can hear in the background. But anyway, despite them going bankrupt back in 2012, for some strange reason there is a server still online. You can still get this game downloaded, it's only 300 megabytes, and play it. And uh, it's still an absolute blast. Um, a few friends and I were playing it last night, and I thought I'll record this for old time's sake. Um, even though there's a huge amount of rust in how I played, couldn't aim to save myself. And I had such a great time, I thought I'll throw this online, with a bit of commentary of course. And I hope you enjoyed as much as I did. Alright, just launched from my carrier. Along with the anger who is with me. I'm in the uh, pirates team, hence my uh, spaceship here is all rusty and covered with sort of markings. This is the Broken Moon map. There were three maps in this mode, uh, in this game, and three gameplay modes. This is Search and Destroy. It's basically a body count mode. And you get to respawn over and over again as often as you like. The aim is to get simply more kills than the other team gets. But I'm going to try and do it, as I usually do, uh, by not dying as much as I possibly can. Now back in the day there used to be a stack of players on each team, I think it was about 20 or something, that it could handle. And uh, these days, you're lucky if it's one or two. <laughs> in this particular battle, we actually got to about three per team. And on this huge map, uh, that means it can be quite hard to find the enemy. It turns into a game of hunting and stalking, which in its own way is quite fun. And some of the players on the other team were exceptionally skilled and, hadn't, unlike me, hadn't lost their skills. Here's one of them approaching now. This particular ship I'm flying, um, it's a heavy fighter. It, has a big huge cannon which can kill a plane in a single shot but it's very hard to get that shot to hit. Unfortunately I've been spotted and being ripped into. Bouncing off rocks as a way of trying to turn quickly and uh, Anger has finished off the guy for me. And that will be the end of my ship. I've got the wrong kind of ship there for this kind of game. I'll try it again though. This uh, heavy was really um, effective when there were very crowded servers and just targets everywhere and you could just go on mass rampages. As you can see we've got um, that guy's hiding away inside the moon. I'm giving myself a bit of distance, cutting my throttle, just waiting to see when he comes out because I want to hit him with a long range homing missile. All of the ships, even the bombers, are quite fast, quite nimble. The light fighters especially so, they're really quick. But you can't uh, let yourself touch a rock, because if you do, it'll probably kill you with just one hit. But these heavies cannot turn with a small light fighter. And once again, I'm almost dead. And there I go. Right, that's a very bad start to this battle. It's time I actually fired up in a light fighter. The Viper was one of my favourites. I quite like it because it does have a short range slow aiming missile which makes up for my lack of ability to aim, because for some reason I simply can't aim in this game anymore. It's quite similar to War Thunders in that you've got a cursor to aim at. It's got some keyboard controls for adjusting your roll, apart from that it's purely mouse. Oh, and I'm dying again. This is a really, really bad start. Okay, fourth time lucky. I can see a red trail there. There's an enemy lurking. And he's jerking around all over the place. And he's run into a wall. Never mind. Okay, time to 
time to run and hide. They've got a tiny little fraction of health left. But for a change, I've survived. It's time to get into the game. Nearly died again. <laughs> As you can see, that guy's got so many kills now, he's built up a bounty. Both of them are here on the other team. So you two aside at the moment. And I've got both of them. Well there you go. I'm in the game. The other modes in the game are capture the flag. Where you've got to pick up a flag from the enemy's carrier. That's the friendly carrier there you can see where we spawn. And take it all the way back to your own. Um, and the third mode is carry to destruction, carry to assault, carry assault, where you, not character assault. Where you were uh, basically fly the bombers and try to uh, destroy the enemy character, uh, carrier and it uh, takes quite some doing. Okay, back into hunting mode. They've shown that they're quite happy to be quite aggressive and fly over to my side of the map. So we're just waiting for them. Just looking for any hint of a wisp of a red trail. There we go. Unfortunately in this game there was Um, fortu unfortunately this game there was uh, no free look camera. You can only look around by turning your ship. Oh, there's a rock there. Come back skills, come back. Where did you go to? Okay, they have 8 kills to our 7. It's not as if they're up to a huge lead. And someone else has joined our team. My missiles aren't hitting. Oh no, they did. Great, another kill. see the sudden boosts of speed. You get a very limited amount of uh, afterburner which recharges with a cooldown, as does your health of course. Some red trails. And you can see how the, pla the uh, ships have, uh, almost said planes, you can see how the ships tend to drift. It's almost like um, it's, it's like there's some kind of uh, semi-Newtonian physics implemented. It's not full on, but if you change direction your, your ship will gradually start flying in the direction you're facing. Can't come to a full stop. But that little bit of drift is, is really nice and really sets it apart from other arcadey sort of dogfighting space games such as uh, the add-on to um, Star Wars The Old Republic which is called Galactic Starfighter. The other thing too is um, Everyone in this game is located in very um, widely dispersed regions around the globe, and yet we're all playing in the one game. Can't do that on a game like Galactic Starfighter, the lag makes it impossible. And the reason for that is, this game is purely client-side, which exposed it to rampant uh, client-side hacking. Almost got him. Which was one of its weaknesses, and one they never addressed. But uh, when the game's this dead, who's going to bother hacking? Flying to where the friendlies are, there's always strength in numbers. Oh, I 
of our company. I'm going to die on this particular run. Yep. That's no moon. Oh wait, it is. As you can see, players can just drop into the game or, or drop out as they wish. The game is constantly running. This particular one has only 5 minutes 20 seconds to go. This is one thing I love about it, just flying through the scenery. Okay, picked him up. Can't hit him though. Here's the other one. Shots on target for a change. kills to 17. It is very close. At the moment though, the other team is still on top. Just gonna get close to the surface and lie in wait in ambush. And hope no one ambushes me. Like, like that. No? Okay. Or I kill myself by hitting the rock. This isn't a very uh, clever tactic at the moment. I'll just retreat back over here to recharge my shields. hunting again. Three minutes to go. They still have a one kill lead. Mostly through to uh, the actions of Pajota, who on an individual basis is giving us all a lesson in how to play this game. Oh, and one thing about this game, there is no friendly fire. You can ram friendlies, but that's about it. Where are they? Down in here? There we go. Hit him with a missile while he's stalled out. And an assist. Not even an assist. I have to try harder. Okay, there's another one lurking in there. Where did he go? Just have a little look through here. And at 50 left. We really have to press now if we want to win this. Ah, oh, someone's brought out a heavy fighter. There we go. Nice. I think we may actually be in the lead now. Again. Just 
Just duck away where they can't see me. Let's see if I can drop him. Oops. There's one guy. I don't want to get into a turn fight with him. He's too good for me at it. And that's exactly what I've done. And you paid the price. Less than a minute now. Sweat's dripping off my forward. I can barely hold the mouse, it's so clammy. It's so easy just to fly straight into an ambush. GGs are flying, I wonder who's won. 24 to 23. We're in front. And that's it. Victory from the jaws of defeat. Well, I found that incredibly enjoyable to play. I hope you enjoyed the video. A real change of pace. I won't upload another one of these unless people request it. Anyway, that's all I have for you in this particular video. The next ones we're back on War Thunder. Until then, I'll see you in the skies.